Hey guys and welcome back to another Match Day vlog. Today Knotts are at home to Stevenage and it's about time Knotts went on another one beaten run because performances haven't been good enough as of late. Even in the three, even in the 2-1 win against Carlisle, it wasn't convincing enough because whilst we did win, we did sat, sit back most of the second half. Um, so yeah, we've dropped to fifth, I believe. We've dropped below Mansfield now. We've really got to win today to get back, well, just get back into the automatic promotion race, to be honest. We've dropped so many points over recent weeks. We've got to get back into the promotion race. We come up against the Stevenage side, who have only won four away games all season. Their away record's even worse than not, so I didn't even think that was possible. But yeah, they've only won one away game since October. I believe they're like 16th, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's a good chance to get three points on the board and close the gap to the top three. So come on Knots, come on you pies, let's do this. Team news has been announced and I'm a, I just, I don't know what to expect from the team news now because Nolan makes so many changes every match and he's made changes today. Amiobi starts up front with John Stead which means it's going to be a hoofball horror show. Carl Dickinson is in the left back. I'm going to break down next time. Carl Dickinson starts a game for us. Richard Duffy and Alan Collins are still not being dropped, despite constant mistakes. And Terry Oakridge comes in on the wing for George Grant. <sighs> Sometimes, at this stage of the season though, you've got to have a settled starting 11. And our best 11 is Fitzsimmons, Tootle, Brisley Hall, Jones, Grant, Houston, Hewitt, Alessandra, Stead and Amiubi. No more Tuesday night matches now, so you've got to have a settled start at 11. But I don't think it looks like we'll have one. Just a wonder, then, not a Score prediction for today. Uh, I know I said 2 0 then, but I think it's either going to be 2 1 then, unfortunately. Oof and ox. <laughs> oh. It's getting difficult every game now, isn't it? I suppose I've got to go with Stead. Yeah, man in form. Man in form. Yep. Score prediction for today. I think it's going to be 2 0, 1 0, and so that I'm going to be Stead. Twenty-eight minutes gone. It's still not nil. Stevenage get nil, and uh, there's nothing's happened. I, I honestly mean nothing's happened apart from Hewitt. Hewitt's had a free header. He really should have scored. Apart from that, lots have been like a TV on standby. Stevenage really haven't created any clear-cut chances. It's been one of the worst games I've ever seen so far. I know it's such an obvious dive. So it's half time, it's not still stealing each deal, it's been one of the worst games I've ever seen in my life so far. I've seen worse. <laughs> Virtually nothing has happened. Ellie Kirk is at the head of one of the worst. One of the worst. Yeah, I thought the Billy Hewitt header and the bank candidate dive in the Knox penalty area. So not much has happened at all. It's we we lack so much. We like nor who's in us at a great hall. We aimlessly move the ball upfield to stead it on the OB and it's created nothing for us. We really need to change it on second half. It's, it's not great, is it? There's not a lot to say really, is there out of that? It's it's been Luke 2, it's been a bit of a bit of huff and a little bit of puff and very little quality from either team, though the goalkeeper has really 
been tested aside that half. Um, I guess all we can say on it is we've been rubbish and we're nil nil. It doesn't take an awful lot to get three points. Other results are going our way today, so you know maybe a, a little bit of a talk into a half time and, and see what happens second half. But. Great, was it? It weren't great, but it was 2 0, and uh, Grant looked a completely different player to the one that's been playing for the last three or four weeks when he came on. And it, it was a bit of luck, he's given him a little bit of a spark back. And when the second goal went in, you'd never have thought we went 2 0 up because the whole crowd was holding its breath because we thought Shola might be injured. And uh, that was quite a surreal moment. Um, could have given away a penalty in the first few minutes, which would have, would have put a different complexion on the game, but. It was a League Two game, it was scrappy, there was very little quality there. We won 2 0, it's three points, let's go. We're back above Knoxville, do you, Vic? We are, we are, Stags fans, we're back, mind the gap. <laughs> <laughs> Good on, John. Well, pretty poor game, but uh, we won 2 0. Back up a place above the Slags. So that's good, the referee is pretty average, lead two referee, this wasn't terrible, wasn't great, what you expect really, three points is three points, that's what we got. Yep. Right, Yamis, we've never done one of these before, but it's now time for you to have a say in the vlogs. It is, is it? It is. What is, not to Stephen Inch now, and instead of me doing this long walk, it's now time for you to do this walk round to the well, car. Well, it's cold. One thing I've took from today, very cool. But overall, the game, not uh, not Stephen Inch, was one of the worst games you could have gone to. If you were if you were neutral, you would have gone to sleep. And both teams were poor in the first 70 minutes. That's that's all I can say. It was virtually nothing in the game. It was just a very poor game. And then 70 minutes brought Grant on. We woke it up. Might not have been grand the impact, but his goal was massive. But not so last 20 minutes were a lot better than it was. Well, it wasn't hard for the first 70 minutes because it was poor, but last 20 minutes we, we arrived on the game and put Steve, Port Stevens side away. Yep. We needed this win today, it was vital for the three points. Lance Rule got it. Grant's goal, he took it well. Show those who are scrap people, it's a much needed three points, and we've done it. Alright, so Knott's winners over Stevenage by two goals to nil. Oh, it was it really wasn't a good game at all. You know, the first the first half was nothing happened, you know, like I said, Elliot Hewitt's header which he really should have scored from from where I saw it. And a Ben Kennedy dive and it was it was such a bad dive as well. I don't know how the referee um hasn't booked him, but that was it for the first half, nothing else happened in the second half. 
Um, Hawkridge came into the game a lot more. Stead, I thought Stead was man of the match. Um, because whilst there wasn't any standout amazing performances, I feel like Stead, um, Stead just did enough to get the man of the match award. I mean, in the second half, he worked hard. I know people complain about, oh, Stead, he doesn't score. He just works hard. But in the second half, he did and he helped um, help the wingers. He helped make space for the winners. He dragged defenders in and allowed Hawkridge. Hawkridge, like I say, Hawkridge had a really good game in the second half. Not such a good game for Norhus in today. Um, just a bit of an off day for him. Liam Noble came on. Didn't do much, but, you know, we'd already, I think we'd already scored. At one, I think it was either 1-0 or 2-0 when he came on. Um, Ami would be scored at last, but um, hopefully that's not his last game um, with us for a while because he seems to play one game, get injured, and then he'll come back after like four weeks. He'll play one game and then get injured again. But yeah, um, if we, it was a bad first 70 minutes, but if we played like we did the last 20 for the remainder of the season, we should be in the hunt, for, we should be in the running for the automatics because. I don't get it, like, why do we hoof it so much? And in the last 20 minutes, we got the ball down on the ground and we scored two goals. And I just don't understand why we can't do it all the time. Why can't we play it on the ground or, like, um, for most of our games? You know, Dickinson started getting forward, like, why? What? And Tootle started getting forward late on. And it's like, why can't we do that throughout the game? Why do we have to do it in the last 20 minutes and not... For all, for, for all 90 minutes. Like, it's frustrating, but we've got to build on this performance. We were fa it was a fantastic um, last 20 minutes. We really did play some all right football. Uh, Grant, that would be that goal for George Grant would be good for his confidence and Shola getting that goal. I think that's his fifth of the season now. But yeah, we've got to build on this. We're going to go away to Cheltenham and Forest Green and pick up some results there. And then the next home game, the Nottingham Shadarby against Mansfield. Can we beat them, please? Just for once. But yeah, um, got decent last 20 minutes for um, performance by Knots, and if we take that into the rest of the season, we should be there or thereabouts. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Uh, stay subscribed if you're subscribed, subscribe if you're new, be safe, be champions, and as always, Zulu.